Altered item 31 PE, the Jasper Post Box. The item is a U.S. post box discovered in the town of Jasper Crossing, Arizona. This item came onto the Bureau's radar through the Communication Department on June of 1986. One duty assigned to this department appears to be monitoring 911 calls across the country for any incidents considered of note to the Bureau. As most of the communication staff were lost in the recent outbreak, I have no one to ask about the methodology of monitoring these calls. Supposition. During the 1980s, this may have been achieved by positioning agents in the phone companies to monitor calls directly. If any paranatural occurrences were overheard, they would report to the FBC directly. This was the most likely method, as the internet was in its infancy and was not linked to networks that would facilitate this level of mass surveillance. Interjection. As an aside, it is important to note that the internet, or ARPANET as it was known then, was in its early stages of development when the Jasper Post Box was uncovered. It was not until the early 90s when the ARPANET was decommissioned and the modern World Wide Web came into prominence. As such, monitoring these calls like we do now may not have been possible in 1986. No documentation is available to confirm when the External Communications Department was established and the ability to connect to the internet from the oldest house was made available. It is likely the department was developed after March of 1990 as this is when the effects of BlackRock were first discovered. BlackRock shells are required around any computer connected to this network to prevent the modern technology from exploding. End of interjection. Regardless of how this monitoring occurred, news of frozen people in the streets of Jasper Crossing were reported by multiple citizens and intercepted by the Bureau. At that time, five agents were dispatched to investigate. Shortly after arriving, it was determined that the post box's effect, quote, seizes the motor functions of organisms meeting an unknown criteria. Paralyzed subjects were still capable of moving their eyes and limited speech, end quote. This was learned when four of the five agents became paralyzed themselves. The criteria of why most people are paralyzed and others are immune was never determined by the research staff. Quote, During tests, approximately 16% of agents remained unaffected by the item. Age, gender, race, height, weight, blood type, eye color, clothing, place of birth, diet, heart rate, and socioeconomic standings are all factors proven to have no correlation to an individual's vulnerability to the item. End quote. Even their mental and emotional states played no factor here. It should be noted that animals are also affected, but there are no records on file if some animals were immune and some were not. Research Proposal with 30 years of medical genetic and psychological advancements, a new round of experimentation is warranted. As no lasting medical side effects were reported, it is proposed to have every available agent exposed to the Jasper Post Box to determine who is affected and who is not. From here, data can be collected and this question of why some individuals are immune can be answered. Communication strip in five. Yeah, need to check a couple things. Be outside the boardroom by then. After the initial retrieval team was immobilized, a secondary assessment team was dispatched. Old-fashioned identification techniques were required to locate the item as, quote, variations of identification formulas were tried with ineffectual results, end quote. Supposition. This detail confirms that formulas discovered from AI-14 have various effects. Some, like used here, are for forcing the altered item to identify itself. Some, like those used for AI-19, were used to suppress the altered effects of the item. Other types of formulas may be present, each having a different classification of effect on the item itself. The post box was discovered by looking at aerial photos of the paralyzed individuals and locating the epicenter. From here, all agents immune to AI-31's effect were tasked with pulling the affected individuals and animals out of its range before studying it. Those who were susceptible to its effects were tasked to interview the citizens and give plausible disinformation to dissuade questions about what happened. The lesson learned from the helicopter crash when transporting AI-19 was taken into account, and the Jasper post box was transported by ground vehicle. Due to the unpredictability of its effect, air travel was determined to be too dangerous. Despite this, additional incidents occurred during transport. Quote, Numerous reports of temporary paralysis were reported by civilians along the truck's route from Arizona to New York City. End quote. It can be presumed that these reports included various vehicle crashes by the affected civilians. 
Other possible occurrences during this trip may have been birds falling from the sky, but they were never reported to local officials. At this time, there is no information on what caused the alteration of the post box in Jasper Crossing. I will be heading to external communications to determine any further information on the town. If anything comes up, I'll provide a supplement here. For now, this concludes my report on AI-31, the Jasper post box. Thank you.